Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So this is going to be the next video using my split cup. As you can probably see from the last time I used it, I didn't wash it out. I just put it upside down to drain out. Um, the current color I have is this green, but sometimes it comes in black and white. It just depends on the materials available. I am using the Arteza Pouring Acrylic Colors. And in other news, my daughter did my nails. <laughs> So I'm going to go, I'm going to actually use two split cups for this video. I'm kind of excited. On this side, I'm going to do black and white. So one side white, one side black. And on this side, I'm going to do one side metallics, gold, bronze, and metallic red. And then one side regular colors. And this is definitely going to be a warm colored pour. So let's start with the easy white and black. Um, each of these cups is eight ounces. This is a 12 by 12 canvas. So I know that I need about nine ounces. And for those who are unfamiliar with my formula, um, I use about one ounce of paint for every 16 square inches. So this side literally just white and black. I've had these paints for a while and I realized I should be using them more because I really love them. I'm just going to go ahead and let that one drain there. So for metallics, I'll do, like I said, metallic red, bronze, which I only have a little bit of. I'll let that drain as well. And then this is the gold. So this will basically be like pouring from four cups at one time. Oh, there we go. I was going to let these two drain again. Might as well, right? All right, and then on this side, I'm going to have neon yellow. And then a bit of red. This is vermilion red. Then we have some neon pink. I don't have much of that left, sadly. Um, some neon purple, which I also don't have too much of that left. I'm trying to also finish some of these bottles. This is a cerise pink. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And then this one is coral. Uh-oh. I didn't open the coral yet. One second. All right. Got that open. There we go. So that is plenty for this side. Maybe even a little too much. I'm going to put a little more on the metallic side. Just a little bit of this red. Okay, good. And we're good on the white and black. Whoopsies. Okay. I'm going to get all the bottles out of the way and then we'll get to the pour. Okay, there's no right or wrong way to do this, but I'm going to just pour as simultaneously as possible right in the middle. And these are definitely not even, but I think it'll still work out totally fine. So this is like the ultimate kiss pour. Nice. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at that, guys. Ah. Whoop. And I definitely had put more uh, white than black in there. I am loving this. Okay. Just going to run it just a little bit more this way and then back this way. I really like this left side with all this darkness and there's kind of a big patch of white over here that I'm not super fond of so there we go that is really cool I'm very excited about that all right let's let this sit for a little while and then we'll do our close-up okay we're back this paint doesn't tend to change much as it dries um doesn't really tend to sell very much on its own, but it also depends on the technique you're doing. I don't know about you guys, but I am super in love with this. 
I definitely am going to be doing this again with some different paints. The Arteza ones are slightly thinner than my usual, and they're definitely thinner than, say, the Artist Loft Ready Mix pouring paints. Um, so all the pre-mixed pouring paints are, are different. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and do our close-up. So this is the lower right hand corner. You can see, see that dark red in there? That's the metallic red. Coming up here to the upper right hand corner. Lots of that white. Love this pattern here with the white and the pink. And then this part is definitely my favorite. This whole side with the white, black, and pink basically and different pinks in there. And we got a little bit of green as well, which comes from the yellow and black mixing. And then this part down here is just gorgeous also. So there you go. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, don't forget to check the description for all the materials, including the split cup. The split cup is something that I make myself. And I have very limited stock of them, unfortunately, right now. I'm working on making them in large quantities so that they are easier for you guys to get and different sizes and things like that. But for now, I have what I have. And I will see you all next time.